kind of videos are you gonna make? <laughs> Shut up, you're not interviewing. Yeah, yes. What's so funny? How are you gonna make it? No one's even here. Why are you, why are you so funny? <laughs> you're ridiculous. <laughs> anything like this before but I am a creative person and I can figure anything out so please be kind I'll keep improving and sorting things out I've been really into the studio vlogs and other artists process videos They're super cool super entertaining really interesting to dive into other people's perspective and process I always find that fascinating but the one thing that is consistently bumming me out is that I haven't come across anyone's work that looks like what I do. I love traditional illustration and painting and drawing. Wish I could do it. Um, I don't work in those arenas because that's not where my strengths and practice time, you know, fall in under. So I thought, okay, I'm not seeing any artwork that's collage -y or, you know, kind of a, a designy aesthetic. Um, I'll make my own video. This video today is basically some snippets of projects that I'm working on, just trying to warm up my brain, warm up my hands, um, trying to get those creative muscles going. Unfortunately, there's nothing start to finish. I will do those sometimes, but this one's just kind of an introduction mix match of, here's some things I've been working on this past month and tasking myself with this project and you know, trying to figure out my story for the edit. <laughs> just something for fun. Unfortunately, I kind of came to a roadblock coming up here, but you know, the idea is to like, I love food. I like working with food imagery. And this couple I had clipped out has been in my stuff for like seven years. And it did take some self-convincing to cut their heads out of the original clipping just because it is a large scale like piece and those are a lot harder to come across than like your everyday you know few inch you know magazine ads clippings whatever so the problem i had with this toothpick idea of going through the heads and then like looking like you know a meatball i don't know why meatballs would be like into the top of your sub, but who cares? This is art fantasy world here. So the toothpicks were just looking way too crafty, like, and the proportions were totally wrong. I don't normally make objects or imagery like purely straight from cut out colored paper. It works in some instances, but for like concise imagery that I'm trying to sell as a solid flawless concoction. It just wasn't working. So I tried the blacks. I thought, let's simplify it, keep it graphic. Let's get the shape and the point across. Still not reading. So this I'm going to have to come back to. 
that's okay. I'm thinking that to sell the toothpick idea even more, like the placement's right, the idea's right, but I need some like accoutrement on like to really sell it, like an olive. So it'd be like the head, olive, toothpick going through both, sitting on top of the sub. I think that would sell it, maybe even like a little mini pickle. I guess it could be whatever. A cheese cube? I don't know, I just like the juxtaposition of like vegetable item. So, even though I didn't get to finish this piece, it was still really good to just force myself to make something. So that's cool. So this piece was strictly like for trial and error experimentation purposes. Um, I have this much larger piece that's 18 by 24 inches that I'm wanting to seal. I'm trying to find the best way to preserve the paper so any liquids like epoxy or any kind of sealer won't seep underneath the cutouts and bleed and you know leave like a wet mark. I might have to just go with the flow and like allow that to happen. Uh, I've seen some people's work where it does do that, some people's work where it doesn't. So experimenting on these two little pieces that were really, once again, pieces that I've had laying around for literal years. So I was trying to just detach myself from them, you know, because they're laying around in the closet. Would this be the finished result, product that I'm looking for on the larger piece? No. The plan was to use this GAC 100, create like a seal over this, and then like cover it in some sort of like resin epoxy. One, um, the one girl's face 
bled through. There was a hole in that original newspaper clip and then that was back to the paper and then glued to the board. Um, but, you know. This video is one of the projects I've given myself to just kind of change things up in my brain and my creative process and to just try something new because I find when I try something new, even though if it's a total flop, it usually helps push me forward to make work that I am proud of. I'll have more videos and content coming to you all in this space in the future. Thank you for sticking around and watching my video. Uh, leave me any comments below with any questions you have about you know, my creative process or the things I'm working on or materials or how to do something in kind of the collage art mixed media space. Give this video a like, subscribe if you're into it. So thank you.